In this video, we'll take a look at how to fix the automatic repair issue when you boot up your Windows 10 computer. If you encounter this, then this can happen for a number of reasons. It could be because of a loss of power to your computer, a system update, new hardware, system file corruption, or even driver issues. When you encounter this issue, it's possible that a Windows update or a feature update could have caused the problem. Go to Advanced Options, then Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Uninstall Updates. Now it gives you two options here to uninstall the latest update or latest feature update. I'll uninstall the latest quality update, but if it was a feature update that was installed, select this. If you don't know which one to choose, then just go with the latest quality update. Now in later versions of Windows, you'll be prompted to enter your password to complete this task. If you don't know your password, then check out one of my videos in the description on how to reset your password. It will then let you know that uninstalling might help fix any issues, but won't affect your personal files, apps or settings. So when ready, go to uninstall quality update, and this will start the uninstalling process. I'll speed up the video for this, but depending on your computer and the size of the update, times can vary on this, so just be patient. Once this is completed, go to Done, and then continue to see if Windows 10 will now load for you. If that doesn't do the job, then you can try and disable early launch anti-malware protection. If a driver is classified as malware by early launch anti-malware protection, because it is malicious or because of a false positive, the driver may not be allowed to load. Go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then Restart. And then from the list, select Disable Early Launch Anti-Malware Protection. This will then try to load Windows 10 with this disabled. If this doesn't work, then it will automatically enable the feature again on the next boot. Next, we'll see if we can enable low resolution video. Go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then Restart. Then number three for enable low resolution video. If you've replaced your graphics card or updated a driver, you may need to uninstall this. To see if this is causing the issue, then log in once prompted. Then do a search in the taskbar for computer management. Select this from the results. Then go to device manager. Then you can expand the display adapters to show your graphics driver. In my case, I'm running a virtual machine for this demo, but your computer will show details of your graphics card. If you right click on this, it gives you a number of options. Go to properties. Then click on the driver tab. Now if you have a failed driver, then the rollback driver feature should be available as this will let you roll back to a driver that was previously installed and working. If not, then you can also uninstall the device from your computer if this is what's causing the issue. Be aware that you'll need to then install a compatible driver afterwards if you want to continue using this device. After you've done that, give your computer a reboot to see if this fixed the issue. If that didn't work, then there's a few things we can check by going into safe mode. Go to troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and restart. And select option four to enable safe mode. Log in when prompted. First thing you want to do is go into device manager. And if changes were made to any devices, then see if there are any problems or warning signs next to them. Now we know you can roll back or uninstall a driver if you're having a problem with your graphics card, but you can also do this if you've installed a chipset, network or any other system driver. If you do a search for control panel, and go into Programs and Features. Here you can see what applications were recently installed 
and if you installed an application that coincides with when you started encountering the problem, then it might be worth uninstalling this. Arrange the applications by date installed, and if it was the latest program installed I thought was causing the issue, I could just select this, go to uninstall, and select yes to confirm this. Next, open up command prompt from the taskbar. And we're going to run the command sfc space forward slash scan now. The system file checker or SFC as it's known scans the integrity of all protected operating system files and replaces incorrect, corrupted, changed or damaged versions with the correct versions where possible. Once that's complete it will tell you if it found any corrupted files and in my case it did but you can see that it successfully repaired them. So let's exit out of this and reboot your computer to see if this fixed the issue. If that doesn't work, then we can try and repair the image via another method. Go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and Restart. And Option 4 to go back into Safe Mode. And log back in. Then do a search for command prompt from the taskbar and open as administrator. Then type in the command DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash scan health. This will scan the image to check for corruption. That's completed successfully and no component store corruption was detected. Next type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash check health. This will check the image to see whether any corruption has been detected and will report whether the image is healthy, repairable or non-repairable. Now that was pretty quick to run and come back with no corruption and completed successfully. Next command to type in is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. This will use the local Windows image repair source to restore Windows features or to repair a corrupted Windows image. I'll speed the video up here. The repair process can take a while so just be patient with it and let it run. If you find that this doesn't complete successfully then it's likely having an issue using the local image on your computer to repair the operating system files. Now you can run this command again to repair your operating system but you'll need to download a Windows 10 ISO using another computer. I already have a bootable USB which has the Windows installation files attached to the computer and you can see it here under the E drive. I've made a video previously on how to download this and we'll put a link in the description to this. So let's go back to command prompt and this time type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health space forward slash source colon ESD colon E colon backslash sources backslash install.esd colon one space forward slash limit access. Remember that my USB is the E drive so amend your drive letter here before running the command. As you can see the repair process will start but the command is amended to use the USB as the source. So any corrupted files it finds on your computer will be replaced with files from the Windows installation files on the USB. That's completed successfully, so let's exit out of command prompt and restart the computer to see if this resolved the issue. If you find that you still have any issues, then you can look at resetting your computer. 
Before you reset your computer, I have another video on how to fix automatic repair errors, so it might be worth checking this out first before you do a reset. I'll put a link in the description to this. To do a reset, go to Troubleshoot and reset this PC. Here it gives you two options. One, to keep my files which removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files. Or two, remove everything which removes all of your personal files, apps and settings. As we want to keep our personal files, select keep my files. I'll pop in my password. Now in more recent versions of Windows 10, you'll have two options to reset your PC. Local reinstall is quicker as the files are already local. You'll use the cloud option in the event that your local installation files are corrupt. So we'll select the local reinstall option. Now this will tell you that resetting will change settings back to their defaults, keep personal files, reinstall Windows from this device, and remove all apps and programs that didn't come with this PC. If this makes you feel uncomfortable, then you can try and take out your hard drive and use a hard drive caddy to get a copy of your personal files first. Or you can use a tool like LazySoft Recovery Suite to copy your files to USB. I'll leave a link in the description to this. So if you're happy to proceed, then you can press reset. This will then go and use the local installation files to perform a reset of Windows 10. I'll speed the video up for this. Once the reset has finished, it will reboot your computer. And in the event you see this blue screen like you do here, then you can see it didn't complete successfully. Windows will try and prepare itself after the reset, but after it realizes that this is not possible, it will try and undo the changes. When the computer boots back up into the automatic repair screen, go back to troubleshoot and reset this PC. This time we'll select the cloud download and start the reset process over again. This time though, it won't use the local installation files to perform the reset as they appear to be corrupt. This will download a fresh copy of Windows 10 from the Microsoft site via the Wi-Fi settings you already had configured, which are in the registry or via your LAN connection. Once that's downloaded, it will go ahead and reset your computer. So once complete, you can see that it's successfully able to prepare Windows and you can log back in. And there you go, you're successfully back into your computer. And you can see on your desktop a link for removed apps. This will give you information on all the apps that were removed while resetting the computer. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helped you out then let me know in the comments which fix worked for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.